I'm Renee Barge and I'm sitting down with Matt Nabel, the writer, director and star of the Stan original film Transfusion. You didn't wear enough hats on this film. <laughs> what else could you have thrown in? <laughs> no, no, that, that was that was plenty. <laughs> that was a lot. It was enough, yeah. Sounds yeah. like a real labour of love for you, this film. Yeah, look, it was just um, born from something. If I was going to direct something, then I needed to do something uh, in and around a subject that I knew really, really well, mm -hmm. which was... I grew up as an army kid, so my father was in the army for 20 years, so I was in and around those types of men, very affected men, and I'm a father. So I understood that world really, really well. So that that was how it sort of started and evolved into the story that it is. And yeah, we're all really, really happy and proud of the way it's turned out. Yeah, you should be. And it's really surprising after watching it that this is your directorial debut. So what was the experience like? I mean, you, you directed one of the biggest stars, Sam Worthington. I think I, I got really, really lucky. I mean, you know, speaking really candidly and honestly, there's mm. there's so many fingerprints on a finished film, and often the director, if it works, you know, tends to sort of uh, attract most of the accolades. Uh, and in the same breath, if it doesn't work, he's the one who gets whipped. But <laughs> the truth is, I had a really, really good group of people that were really kind and calm, and and that was what we sort of tried to, um, you know. That was our sort of mantra during during the shooting. And getting set someone like Sam on board, how yeah. did that how did that come about? Sam, uh, producers Johnny and Mike Schwartz had, had read it, and and I, I'd written specifically for Sam, and they knew Sam really really well. Sam was sent the script, and oh, you know, three four days later, he came back and said, "Yeah, I really want to do this." And I think it spoke to him because I think it was a, a period of his life where being a father was is the most important thing and the most overwhelming thing in his life. And I think, obviously, for me, this story at least um, is a father-son story at its heart. And and I think that's probably why it spoke to him. So, yeah, we were, we were really lucky to get him. And I think you know, this is as good as I've seen Sam in anything. I was blown away by his performance and I thought the casting was brilliant as well. Yeah, look, I, I, like I said, I'll be honest. I think, you know, when you have people that experienced, it's, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm wasn't directing Sam to do much, to be honest. Like, he knew if we weren't hitting the tone right and a lot of the s scenes he had were with me. And, uh, yeah, I feel really, really grateful that, that he responded the way he did. And, and like I said, his performance is, is, is amazing. And he's aware, I think, of exactly what he's done and he's fiercely proud of it as well. That must yeah. feel so good for you. It does, yeah. yeah it's wonderful for all of us. Yeah. And you had some pretty hectic scenes, the two of you. Yeah. You guys go head to head. Literally, quite literally. Yes. Uh, did you have any close calls, any injuries or anything on the set? Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, Sam really <laughs> committed to uh, that, that last sequence. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, he banged his nose up pretty bad to the point where he thought it might have been broken. Um, did you bang it up or he No, it he up? actually okay. he, he fell awkwardly on his face. So, um, But there was yeah, some really <laughs> nervous moments there. But, um he, uh, no, he, he was all good, okay in the end. And then how do you balance, as the director, writer and star, um, wearing all of those hats, it, it's got to be quite overwhelming in moments. Like, how did you...? Yeah, look, I think that once the writing's done, like, the, you mm. know, you can sort of walk away from that. Um, and I'm not precious with words or, you know, if, if any of the actors, Phoebe or Sam or Edward, wanted to, to yep. change words, um, go ahead, you know, like it was, it was about telling the story. So as far as acting is concerned, Johnny, for me, I understood really, really well. Um, and, and though he's not particularly likeable, he's considering his journey, it's very understandable. But mm. uh, by the time I had to step in and play Johnny, you know, I had guys behind the camera who were looking out for me to make sure that I was pitching it the, the right way. And uh, and so I was lucky with that. And also, you know, my scenes are with Sam. So if, <laughs> if it wasn't good, Sam would tell me. <laughs> Would he? Uh, yes, he would. <laughs> I love uh, that. So, you know, I, I was in good hands, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. And and then since you're at the helm of it all and it's quite heavy, dark content and the days probably feel pretty intense, were you able to find levity or did you guys have fun between takes or at the end of the day? Um, yeah, look, we, we finished early most days um, and because the way it was scheduled was for me um, being a first-time director, and by the time we started, you find a groove. Uh, and so it was a happy set in the fact that everyone pretty well got to go home early every day. So that, that sort of made uh, going to work the next day um, yeah. a lot easier. Well, congratulations, Matt. I'm so, so happy for you and can't wait for everybody to see the film. Thank you, Renee. Thank you so much. Pleasure.
The Stan Original Film Transfusion premieres January 20, only on Stan.